second YouTube video coming at you guys on this program where I'm looking to gain 12 pounds, 12 weeks. I'm starting week three, I had my testing week. First full week in the program, kicked my butt. I was so sore yesterday, I got a great sauna, great cold plunge session, and now we're in here today hitting back and biceps. We're gonna be doing the 60 minute variation. On our app, we have the 90 minute variation, 60 and 30. And so today, we're gonna be doing the 60. Come in, get in, get after it, get home to the baby. Morgan's at home going, going crazy. She feels like she can't leave the house. So we're gonna be jumping into it today, hitting our warm up. We're hitting not only the muscles we're working out, but also those opposing muscles. So in my warm up, I'm not just going back, also doing some chest and tricep for the warm up. So we're gonna jump into it right now. Let's go. All right, first thing we got today, pull ups. It's one of our strength progressions for this round of our, this 12 weeks essentially. We have muscular endurance emphasis on these pull ups today. So 15 reps is what we're going for. If you need to use a band, use a band on these, something that allows you to get that 15th rep, that 14th, 15th, maybe you're gonna really struggle on, but you're gonna be able to get it. Oh yeah, that's, that's too easy for me. Sean, that's all you. 15 reps. If I can't get 15 unbroken, gotta use a band. Just barely. So even if, even though I got 15 that last set, I'm gonna bump up and use the band here. Cause really what I, what I wanna do is make sure I'm working the appropriate muscles. It's really easy to let your biceps take over, start tensing. Really wanna keep things nice and wide, elbows pushed back. This, really focusing on that back, a lot different than just doing the reps just to squeeze them out. Completely different feel there. Damn. Kind of weak. I started off 200 pounds two weeks ago. Today, 203. So when we do the math on that, I'm trying to gain one pound a week. That's being at a surplus of 3,500 calories. So whatever I would eat in maintenance, I need to eat on average 500 calories a day. 500 times seven, 3,500. That's one pound a week. So not too bad. I'm up three pounds the first two weeks. I, f I still feel like for me, I tracked my protein this weekend. I got like 180 one day. Just felt like I couldn't eat any more protein. So I'm gonna have to get back and used to eating that much food. Don't think Morgan appreciated it because whatever protein source I got did me dirty. I had some bubble guts, I'm not gonna lie. I had some farts. Between me and Harvey right now, Morgan wasn't happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and finish on this one. One thing I can tell you for sure is that doing pull-ups for endurance, my muscular endurance is absolutely shit. Can't even get 15 reps. We're gonna have to edit this part. Oh, that's me. Hot oh, damn. This shit's hard. I got too much of a bicep pump. You get a you get a big old bicep pump after pull-ups, you need to go to the band because you shouldn't be feeling that much biceps. All right, we got a little seated row. Just gonna make sure we support the, the, with the chest here. What I like doing is getting it more, more in your fingers, more biceps can be involved. So I like to really grab these, almost like a false grip. One, two, three, four. 
And then the trick is, you want to pretend like these are just hooks. And instead of pulling with your biceps, instead of doing this, we're here, setting the scapula down and back. And now we're just, now we're rowing. Big difference from here to there. Oof. Big difference. 15 damn reps. It's a little bit hard. I like switching up my grip too. So the closer we go, we're gonna, depending on how high and how low, wider we go is gonna be more outside that width of your back. The more in we go, the more we start talking about, you know, parts of our lats. We're gonna get a little bit lower, lower back. It's gonna be a little bit wider, more posterior delt. And then up here, that's probably my least favorite out of all of these grips. You know, up here, I don't like really kind of, you know, I start feeling more trapped up here. As soon as your elbow gets higher than your shoulder, we're gonna start bringing in a lot of traps. So I try to avoid that high grip here. So we just did the narrow one. We're gonna go wide here. I really feel like I'm pulling it down. It's almost, I feel like I'm pulling to my hip. Muscular endurance just isn't there. I'm filming everything on Instagram with my shirt off. Sorry, YouTube. I'm not giving you that show today. Just a little preview. If you want to see these, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you're not. So what I have noticed in life, maybe it's my ADHD, when things are smooth and easy, I don't do well. I need a little bit of chaos. I think I would have done well in the military, just like being told what to do and doing it. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but when I was prepping for shows, it's easy when you're single-minded. You just focus, 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 and I feel like life right now, is so chaotic. When I have a minute, I'm focused on what needs to be done, and that's not normal for me. It's a good thing. my slogan Sean it's been my, it's been my slogan I've been saying that for years maybe 10 plus years I don't know if there's a I don't know if there's a time in history I can go back and pinpoint the first time I said last set best set but I might need to tattoo it on my body Pause here. We need to get 15 reps, so shake it out, back at it. Ah. Shit, muscular endurance right now. All right, superset. Last thing for back is a superset. We got a neutral grip bat wing row. Sounds kind of cool. On an incline bench and then a rope pullover. All right, we got a neutral grip dumbbell bat wing row. Biggest thing here is we can go supported with our chest. Let it all hang out right here. So you can see, shoulder blades around and forward. First movement, shoulder blades down and back. Just like we do with the seated row. Shoulder blades come down and back. We're in that neutral grip position. And then we're pulling to the hip. The, the elbows are gonna be just in line, back to the hip. Chest is gonna come back off the pad as we start the lift. Again, shoulder blades go down and back. It gets us to this position. And then we're squeezing. So we're gonna get some extension through our thoracic spine here, and then finishing it off by pulling to that hip. You'll feel that a little bit in your erectors as well, just because of that extension we're getting. All right, straight into our superset rope pullovers. 
So really the first thing I want, get a good stretch, butt goes back, elbows are essentially right under your ears. And then from here, straight arm, pulling down to your waist. As I pull down, the chest comes up. Squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze is going to be key on there, both at the top, that stretch, and then the squeeze. Better go get my shirt. I wasn't gonna use a shirt on this, but I'm always giving people shit for doing that, so. Ah, 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 I'm not that guy. Here's a little secret, guys. If you're maybe not as light, strong as you'd like to be, and your gym has some bumper plates, these look really, really big, even though they're just 10 pounds. So, we're gonna put these on. You'll thank me later. People will be, you'll catch some eyes in the gym. You'll catch that gym crush of yours staring at you. And they won't know how much it is. In my head, there is this one Arnold shot where he's just posted up with like 22 inch biceps and he's posted up like this. In my head, I like to think that's how I look. Tanner, insert a picture here of that Arnold or that video of Arnold. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. Can't concentrate with all this bullshit. You got 10? Yeah. Why are you smiling like that? Because you're surprised I got 10. I am. Everything else, you're fucking weak. Uh, and then you bust out your biceps and you're really strong, man. What the hell? I got some points of weakness. See? Can't touch. Oh, I can barely touch. Definitely got to do some more. Getting pretty close for those long ass arms. Yeah, dude, I'm weak as fuck. Something wrong with me. All right, pass up there. All right, guys, cable slant curl. So what we're gonna do? Get a cable. Oh, get something that you can do about ten times. I'm gonna have to go lighter because this is at the end of our back and bicep workout. So something you can do about ten times. We're gonna step forward with it. You'll see my arms are at a slant behind me. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're almost performing those like a drag curl. We're gonna immediately drop set. 
and go do 10 more. Biggest thing here, again, treat it like a drag curl. So instead of those elbows coming forward, those stay behind us. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Elbow. You want big arms? They gotta go through some pain to get there. I tried doing an Arnold accent and then forgot how to do it. So we got seven, seven, seven. Seven halfway up. I like to do these at the end of a set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come narrow. Seven halfway down. Two, three, four, five, eight, seven. And then seven all the way. One, two. Yeah, I gotta freaking get to 21 inch arms one day. It'd be really big. I haven't measured my biceps in a long time. This is gonna be really good to see where we're at. This is one thing we don't max out in in the fitness culture program. This is just a little extra credit. So I think my biggest my arms ever were, I don't know if they ever hit 20. I think 19 and a half is the biggest. Don't short me out here, man. Gotta come around the big part of them. I can't flex right now, but come on, tell me they're at least 18. Hold on, I'm gonna go around the biggest part right Right there. Right. What are we at? 18 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter? It's not bad. The biggest my arms were ever were were 19 and a half flex and pump. 18 and a quarter right now, I'll take it. I think we need to get back a little to 19. According to Steve Reeves, we've talked about this before, biceps and neck should be the same size. Now, I don't know if that's pumped up, but my neck's about 17 and a half. Biceps are 18 and a quarter. Not bad. All I know is that my neck and biceps are much bigger in ratio than my chest. My chest needs to be like 54. No, that's what Arnold's was. My chest needs to be like 50, I'm like a 46. So I don't know how to make my rib cage bigger. I try doing everything, just can't get it. Super humbling. I appreciate you guys watching these. We're, um, you know, we're a dad now, life's changed. My sister going through a cancer scare has kind of lit a fire underneath me. I don't know, again, if it's having a kiddo or my sister. It's just kind of like, again, I, I, I embrace chaos. It's like, I kind of like being that rock in the hard times. When times get easy, I find myself getting complacent. And if that's you guys, I think it's, if you're like me, it's about creating some chaos in your day. Meaning like for two hours, let your life be chaotic and, and hustle and, and do what you gotta do. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm figuring this out, how to balance being a dad, getting enough out of my, my hours when I'm not a dad or a brother or an uncle where I'm then pushing myself with that like chaotic, like, hey, if you approach the same mentality in the gym as you do being a dad, meaning like you would do anything for your kids or anything for your sister, have that same approach. Do anything for you for those two hours. Anything that you need to get to get done, get it done. And and almost, you know, like again, if I had to do something for Harvey, I don't care what it was, I'd get it done no matter what. Same goes for my sister. Why don't I treat myself the same way when I need whether it's business or working out, treat yourself, give yourself that same kind of time and energy and you'll be better off for it. So appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you guys next time.